welcome back. We are on the final day. This is the money day. The day that matters. JD's been running up front all weekend. The kid's been doing great. The only one that's been sucking is me. No, the car in the last heat race is the best the car has felt. And the best I have felt in a long time. Yeah, around lap seven, I started hurting. But man, that thing was on rails. Uh, thanks for coming back to the channel, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button, like button, share button, all notifications. Uh, love racing with you guys out there. Now I gotta go from 46th to hopefully top 20 is the goal. Last year was a much better run. Even though I qualified uh, well, I just qualified on the wrong gear. And then changed the gear, but then changed the rims and whatever. I got a whole bunch of excuses. I'm having fun. I'm just glad I'm back on the track feeling better and not racing hurt. Um, I haven't touched a cart basically all weekend. It's crazy. It's one of the weekends I've not really messed with the cart. Like little quarter here, quarter there, and I changed the rims out. Other than that, let the cart do its thing and hold on for dear life. Uh, thanks for uh, the power. Um, God, you know, I always fuck up the name. Maxim, maximum, maximum horsepower, or whatever. God, I'm sorry, man. You know, I'm, I'm so bad with names. Maxim Motorsports. Yeah, Maxim Motorsports. Uh, engines running great. Smoker gears doing their thing like always. Uh, the Dragon Skin is on point. Thanks to Joe for that. And of course, the MGM. Mm. Man, those MGMs are rolling. I'm in love. Oh, hey, how can I forget? Podium Products, CR Graphics. Yeah, I pay for all this shit, so. I just like to support people that are nice, not assholes. Uh, racing last night, everybody's been asking me how I went on night. Uh, it wasn't too bad. There's some complaints out there, but it's the first time they tried racing, so you know they did a pretty good job on it overall. Uh, I liked it, but I'll give you more feedback. Maybe do a podcast. We'll see what happens. Let's get after it, guys. Oh, we got the finals. We uh, skipped warm up because uh, track was wet, but now the track is dry. Send it. Here we have Mikey's finals, and he's been doing great all weekend long. Um, just missing a little speed here and there at times, but I think we got all ironed out. He has a really good starting position, a good chance to finish top five for sure. It's, you know, it's just, you have to be perfect. You have to be like a robot during these events because only, only the robots stay up front. It's crazy. You make one little mistake and boom, they're gone or the, the draft's broken up and all the stars have the line and everything. It's just, going to Springs this year was just insane. It was just some years is crazy this year was by far some of the hardest competition and by far far some of the best drivers right now you got junior downs right in front of him uh you know trying to pick away through traffic trying to file all in everybody get filed all in uh, they're two by two here uh, which is not the best way to go around this track <laughs> you really want to be uh single file but once the lap gets done there everybody single files up then you're able to uh, run start trying to run people down uh, find yourself a nice drafting partner um, right there he's able to get underneath the uh, junior and um, he's able to fall through uh, he's still stuck on the outside i think junior puts it back on the inside and then they go two by two and this battle continues on for a little bit uh it kills some of the time they should have mikey should have just slotted back uh behind downs and then push him through um i think in the end he ends up passing it but then Mikey ends up losing a spot the wheeler so that's the little stuff that happens you're battling so much and then you don't notice how much time you're missing if you would have just let the guy uh, slide on through in front of you uh, it would have been much better like we already made a move on junior for no reason on the same MGM that's, that's, to me I just don't get it you you want to pick your buddies your partners line up and push it just doesn't happen it's just it's like talking to a wall. <laughs> but overall, it was a good race. He did a really good job. Um, Cart was handling great. It was just trying to keep up the momentum in the run. That was the thing. And then, like, minimizing the small little hiccups here and there. 
um, he would gain positions and then he would lose positions people in front would start battling so they would come back to him and then he would get a good run against them uh, right here he gets a really good run uh, on the inside he goes right behind the 53 uh, gets pulled right along inside the draft he's gonna try to make a move uh, on the inside clears it almost uh, has him hanging around the outside and then he's able to clear him going into the final uh, turn three and four uh, but look at that just that little battle look at the amount of space you lost um, and it's really hard to get back in a track that you need another person now you can catch him in the double lefts and that run right hander but you know if you have four carts line up in a row that are a little bit slow on your double left that would make a big difference like on the double lefts he's able to make up time and space um, he's able to get back on their back bumper but one little slight mistake one little split decision move that doesn't go his way and you lose so much time uh, coming up here uh, 110 slides in right in front of him uh, he was carrying a lot of speed and then they're able to hook up and push and try to push up to the next group so that's basically the way you want to race is find yourself a good drafting buddy and then stick with them and then you know do the best you can to run with them um, two cards are always faster than one I say shoot three four five cards are better than two cards or one card so I like to find my drafting buddies or if they're just a little bit quicker somewhere than me I usually just get right behind their back bumper find out where they're beating me and then sit back uh, by my time and then just try to work forward sometimes you have to make a swap during the race if you are a little bit quicker um, since you push him around hopefully he has enough respect to let you uh, to let you make the move and basically you push him around afterwards following the 110 around um, still make some move Mikey was there for a while uh, saw that none of the pro progress was being made other than catching up but after that there's no moves being made so he makes a nice move on the 110 the next you know he has the 106 in front of him so he's going to try and run down the 106 and try and maybe make something happen uh, later on in the race uh, he's able to catch up to a group again you see that uh, how much they caught up because he was fighting uh, ends up pushing the 53 uh, to just try to get back uh, underneath the wheeler but this right here holds him up so much and this is the chain of events that happens um, he loses so much time because um, he has Wheeler back on his uh, right side that he allows Aiden to get a good run on the inside, but then Aiden holds it on the outside and then doesn't want to give up the spot, and that's just hard driving. But at the same time, I, you know, it's just you got to pick your battles, and it's hard when you're in the heat of the moment. You want to stick it. Um, I do it all the time. I just want to, you know, if someone doesn't push me, I'm not going to push them right if they take the time to try to give me a couple bumps and i'm not going anywhere i'll point them by and then try to follow behind but if you make a dive bomb move on me and expect me to push you that's not going to happen that's just the way i am and especially if it's the first or second lap if you're already trying to make dive bomb moves on me on a drafting track i'm not going to push I, i'm just going to tell you straight up i'm not gonna, i'm going to battle as hard as you can until you get the point across that the only way we're going to move forward is if you push me now if you pass me you're gonna see a bonsai move back up on the inside that's just the way I was brought up in racing and the karting scene uh, when you move up to some areas you have to earn the respect before you get the respect and that's what some of the issues that uh, I see it come cross karting uh, now that a lot of teams don't respect each other a lot of people don't respect each other so Hopefully we'll get away from that and go back to the normal stuff. Uh, but overall, Mikey did a really good race. Sucks that he was in that altercation. Um, you know, it, it ruined an overall good weekend. But that's racing. That's stuff that happens all the time. Um, you never like to see it, but at the same time, you know, what can you say? Uh, you're both racing. You're both fighting for positions. Um, you're not giving up an inch. You're both out there to win. Uh, the adrenaline's pumping, the visor's down, um, you know, it's time to go race. And at that point in time, it's just hard to let off and take the high road. Um, you really want to be there. You, you think you're a little bit quicker, but sometimes you got to be a lot quicker to make the move and go forward. He ended up P24, which wasn't a bad result, but I know he was disappointed. 
He ended up a lot better than I did. That's for sure. All right, my race. We had three go-around starts. Uh, I thought the rule meant like basically two starts and you just flop the rows. They didn't care. They kept doing it. Uh, I'm in the mid. I'm in the back. All right, I'm in the back. I started dead last almost. Um, and then I get into back of uh, Josh Smoker here. Boom. Uh, I make a move on the inside. Uh, he had someone on the outside. Uh, it was a crazy move. I probably should have backed out of it, but I didn't know he, had, he didn't have anybody on his outside. Um, after that, I slot back in behind the 251, and then uh, try to make my in rows forward. Uh, starting so far back here, I just want to move up, um, find a good pushing partner. Uh, looked like the 251 had good speed, so I was going to go follow him. Uh, there's Josh again in front of me. Um, and then I'm just going to try and uh, follow Josh around. But then he makes a bad mistake on the uh, exit. So I get a really good run. Uh, I'm trying to get back up to 251. Josh makes a nice little move on the bottom. Uh, he sees it's me. Um, we're going forward. Then he's going to end up waving me by. I'm going to go around. And he's going to end up following me. And then my whole goal is go find the 251 again. It's because he was moving pretty quickly. I need to catch up to him. So I get a really good run out of the S's. And I'm going to go find the 251 uh, back bumper. Because I wanted to work with him to move on forward. That was going to be the goal. Is uh, find myself a good drafting partner. And hopefully I can push forward. Uh, right here, I'm just going to put my foot in it. I'm going to stay in it. Uh, someone panic breaks right in front of me. I do not lift. I think I could have threaded a needle. If he didn't spin out. But I didn't thread a needle. <laughs> I didn't lift at all, man. I was freaking, I was hammered down. I thought I could thread it. Um, yeah, that was a really hard hit. Um, that was the end of that chassis. That is the first time ever that uh, I've been a chassis. And I've had some hard hits. And in the in the end, the MGM's a tank. I love it because it's, it's stiff. It's a tank. It's a good for a heavyweight guy. Um... To be honest, I didn't even notice I bent it. It looked way better than CRG I smashed. That's for sure. That one was destroyed for sure. Now I got a point of view from Josh. Uh, Josh Smoker, the son of Mike Smoker, he's decided to get into karting. Great guy. Gets a really good start. You're going to see, um, I feel bad for the Coyote. I was on the outside. Um, I get into him. He shoves out wide into a Coyote and sends him flying. That sucked. Um, after that, he does a, I mean, a really good job trying to get through the, the traffic. He does a couple wild moves here. He'll he'll make a couple passes on the outside. Uh, you would not think to do so, but he goes right around the outside here, uh, finds the double zero, gives him a bump. Um, he gets up pretty high pretty fast. It's very shocking how many moves he makes off the bat. Now he just makes a slight little mistake here on the double left. Um, just loses the cart on exit um, right there, and then I get a good run. I slot right in front of him. Um, he 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 saw someone try to make a move, and he was like, nope. He slid it back in front, and then he, he saw it was me, and then he decided to point me by. And then after that, we were, we were going to make some more moves. Um, I slide right in front of him, and then uh, get going. Uh, the cart just rolls so nicely in this section of the track. It was just really fun to drive it was a really good car to drive josh man that was a ballsy move to stick it in uh man he he has some guts on him he drove really hard and this is gonna be a massive hit i'm so glad he's okay um but massive hit bam nails him hits the wall oh man that was a hard one but in the end he was safe as well uh his chassis did not fare so well and there goes joe uh, smoking the clutch, raising his hands like uh, one of those slinky uh, commercial guys floating around. <laughs> but, hey, that's racing. That's what happens. Thanks to MGM. Thanks to Maximum uh, Motorsport Performance, CR Graphics, Podium Products, of course, Smoker Gears, um, the best gears in the game. I'm glad everybody was safe in that accident. Um, you know, that's racing. Thanks for CKNA putting on a great show and can't wait for the next race. Catch you guys on track on the next one. Well, <laughs> what a weekend, guys. It was fun. It was fun. Cart was fast. Super happy, super fast. I almost killed Joe, but, but that's beside the point.
right? So in the heat race, we were making, I mean, the finals, making moves right off the rip. Just going, 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 cart fell. Dude, this cart is no joke. Amazing. I'm not saying this because people, please. I don't get paid to say any of this shit. Okay, I don't, I talk to a camera and just talk shit 90% of the time. I don't get paid to say any of this crap. So when I say the cart was freaking money, it was money. It was just bad luck on my part. And I ended up getting into an accident and then in the, it didn't finish well. But other than that, everything went great. I loved it. Um, Got to thank LSR, uh, Marshall, Yoda, uh, Joe. I'm glad I didn't kill him. That was the one I hit. JD, P4 Masters. Congratulations to him. He has to pick up a trophy. Um, the rest of the crew, Katie, Linus, uh, Nick, um, Ryan. God thanks Ryan's wife, Katie. Ryan! The wife's name is Katie. I'm just bad with names. It's just too many Katie's. You see, Katie and Katie, it's too many. It's too many. All the white women are called Katie. That's the problem. Huh? No, Katie or Karen, you're right, but it's too many Karens in the world. Please do not uh, demonetize me for saying that comment. I'm just joking. But you know the you know the Karens out there. All right. Catch you guys on track. Love you. Ugh, I don't know when the next race is. Probably amp. Let's just send it.